Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session with Adobe Illustrator. And this time we're going to look at how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now, the pen tool is a tool that's used throughout the Adobe product range. In fact, throughout many different graphical application programs. So if you want to know how to progress or improve your graphic design skills, then getting used to the pen tool is really a must. So let's have a look over here on the left hand side. We can see the pen tool there. So if we just zoom in so you can see. There you go, that's the pen tool that we're going to do. So click on that tool and let me just zoom back there. So I'm just in Adobe Illustrator, I'm in about 2015, this version here. Just going to zoom back a little bit here. So this is my screen, I'm just using the hand tool to pan around. So what I need to do now is what I need to do is I just going to draw a line. So what I want to do is ensure that my fill tool or my fill has nothing in there. If I zoom in so you can see that. So if I choose none, fill so you can see here that fill has nothing in that that's fantastic and my stroke has a black stroke I can click on this for a stroke let me just zoom back again great so now I've got a stroke I'm just going to increase my stroke a little bit up to one millimeter so you can see it so the first thing you can do with a pen tool you can draw straight lines so if you want to copy me you just click once with a mouse click again click again click again and you end up where you started from if you look very closely just zoom in Notice there that my pen tool in the lower right hand corner has a little circle next to it that will there show me that the shape will be closed off when I complete it. So if I just click there with a the mouse, the shape is closed. So now I can go and I can fill my shape with the black color or I can fill it with any color that I desire like so. Great. So that's the first thing you can do with the pen tool. So let us. Um, just delete that. Uh, in fact, just delete that a few times. That's good. It's going to go back to the pen tool here. So now if you want to do, say, curvy lines with the pen tool. So one of the things I like to show people is maybe drawing a circle. That's something that we can do. So if you take your pen tool, click, drag upwards, go over to the right hand side here. Notice that I haven't, I'm not holding down the mouse. Yeah. So I'm moving this here, but I'm not dragging with the mouse. I've clicked and I've dragged in the direction where I want the circle to go. So my first curve will go up. So I'm going to start just move over here. Notice as well, I'm not holding any mouse button down. This is the mistake that most people, most beginners make with the pen tool is they hold down the mouse button. So what I do is click now and hold the mouse button down, drag down a little bit. There we go. That's fine. Let go of the mouse. Notice hands up in the air. Then I'm going to go over to where I started, click and drag to create my circle. Where well, it's near enough circle, you can get let go of the mouse at the end, hands up, that's fantastic. And then to finish off, hold down the control key, which goes back to the selection tool and click away. And then that allows me to see my circle. Make sense? Great. So let's take the next stage. I'm just going to go to my black selection tool and just select and delete the circle there. So what I want to do now is I want to change direction points. One, I want to be a curve point. One, I want to be a corner point. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, draw a mouse hole, an archway. So again, back to my pen tool. So click once, and I'm going to go just to the middle of the page here. Click again. So now my next uh, line, I want to draw as a curve. So what I do is I go down to my anchor point. Click and hold my mouse button down and drag up in the direction that I want the next curve to go. So notice I'm not holding down the mouse anymore. I've clicked, I've dragged upwards, I've let go on the mouse. All right then. So now if I go over to this side here, click and hold the mouse button down and drag down and work out how big I want it. Now don't worry too much if the mouse doesn't, the, the hole doesn't look too big, the curve or the arch is not going as you want to. You can always go back and change it. Let go of the mouse, fantastic. So now my next part of my line, I want to be a corner point. I want it to be straight. So if I go back here, click once, and it's ready to go to the next straight point. So then over here to the right, click again, up, across. Notice in the dynamic uh, uh, grid is aligning up. That's great. So I can do my mouse bit there, my little mouse hole or archway. Control click away. There we go. My shape's ready to go. That's so far so good with the pen tool. So what, as I said before, if this um, archway isn't as I expected, so if I wanted to make this bigger or smaller, then I could use the direct selection tool. So the direct selection tool is the white arrow. 
And what I do is I click on my line, and when I click on an anchor point, I get my control handles appearing here. I can click and I can drag to create a larger archway. There we go. Uh, if I wanted to, say, for instance, the corners of this shape here, I wanted to be a little more rounded. Well, I could convert the corners using the convert, or sorry, the anchor point tool, which will allow me to convert the corners. So if I just click on this corner here and drag in the direction that I originally drew the shape, you can see that converts it to a curve point. And there we go. I'll do it. it converts the other one to a curve point. I want to again go back and change this shape. I will go back to my white arrow tool and then adjust my control handles like so. If I then need to convert those curve points, anchor points back to corner points, then I can go to the anchor point tool just here. And then I go over to this bit here, this anchor here, click once, go over to this side here, click once, and it converts them back to corner points. So nearly done with the pen tool. Just one more thing, you can use the pen tool in combination with the um alt key on the keyboard let's uh i like this one here i'm just going to just drag this i don't know why but i just seem to like it i'm just going to drag it up to the top here uh go back to my pen tool so just shoot choose my pen tool from a toolbox on the left so what i'm going to do just click away control click away if i wanted to do some hills or whatever so i click once i'm going to start drawing upwards like so i'm going to go say the first hill is going to be over here so drag like that so my next hill i want to um, now change the direction of my next point of the line. So I want to start drawing my next hill. So I hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and now I can control the direction of my next line. So I want to have my next line go up like saying this way. That's good. I let go of the mouse first with my right hand and then the keyboard second with my left hand. Great. So now I decide, okay, this hill I'm going to go over to sort of here, I suppose. There we go, little mound here. There we go. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. Okie dokie. Fine. I'll tell you what, I wanted to bring this point all the way over to the right. So I'm just going to hold down the space bar on the keyboard and I can drag and move that anchor point over to the right a little bit more. That's good. And I can let go of the space bar. That's great. Excellent. So there's my little hills that I might have to go back and adjust them afterwards. So there we go. Back to my anchor point. Click once. Down to the bottom. Click. Line it up here. There we go. Click. Click. There's my points, and I need to go in the back and adjust them. You'll probably do a much better the job than I'm doing here. Go back to my direct selection tool, and I can click on this anchor point just here. And now I can adjust how my I want my hills <laughs> to go. There we go. Yeah, that's it. A little bit less rude there. <laughs> All right there. Well, you get the idea, basically. And afterwards, you can then, then fill the shape up with any color you want. Just use it as a green there. There we go. So this little mountain or a little hill there. I can pop a house on or something. Uh, maybe this is a little archway that I can click and drag down. Oops. And go down. There we go. Pop that on the top here. Let's bring it in front. Control and the right angle bracket. Uh, let's just change the fill color to a sort of bricky color. That's fine. There we go. Just getting started there. But uh, I think you'll agree using the pen tool, getting used to the pen tool, it's not an easy task. It'll take a little while and so uh, to get into it. And sometimes after I spend a couple of hours just using the pen tool just to start getting used to it to actually draw shapes that make any sense. So the pen tool is mandatory for what we'll show you next, which is using the 3D tool, in particular Revolve, to create a wine glass. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and you can see that video. Thank you so much for watching.